Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at Shapes 3D Geometry Drawing App uh, for the Merge Cube. Uh, although it's for the Merge Cube, you also have an option to view uh, the shapes uh, and manipulate them uh, in standard 3D mode. In general, uh, this app was designed to uh, deliver a more immersive uh, learning experience um, uh, for both uh, students and teachers who want to teach, uh, to teach um, children about math and geometry. Now let me go over the options. Uh, this is from the description uh, from um, the App Store. Uh, what you can do with this app, explore 27 shapes, prisms, pyramids, and platonic solids. Easily rotate solids and check their properties, row line segments between two points, diagonals, bisectors, uh, heights, and many more. Create and label points, construct cross sections and 2D shapes inside the solids. Uh, discover uh, vertices, vertices uh, edges, and faces. Learn the difference between perspective and isometric view. Experience 3D geometry in augmented reality. So let's take a look and see what this app is all about. Just a second. Um, what is this one? Points. Points. All right. Ah, okay. Point A. Ah, okay. A, C. Okay, so I can I like oh no, wait. Segments. Ah, okay, yeah, I can highlight segments. Here, and here. Here and here. So let's check out the area. So I can just tap, probably just tap. Yeah, area. Oh, okay, now I understand what I need to do. I need to do it in uh, non air mode to quickly understand what this means. So let's go to a uh, virtual sure merge cube. Sorry, merge cube. It was just temporary. Oh, okay. So now we can uh, hold it. Let's turn it around. And uh, let's do a segment. Choose segment, segment, and area. So having such an app, you know, it's kind of having like a 3D notebook, a digital notebook. And the thing is that you don't need to erase and draw anything uh, on paper. You know, everything is done digitally. So it's very easy to explain things and go back and erase and try something else. And of course, because you have the merge cube, it's very easy to just hold and rotate the 3D shape uh, for different and view it from different directions. So it's very comfortable. As you can see, there are plenty of shapes uh, you can browse through. Uh, different categories uh, so it's very easy to choose the one that you like to uh, explain about or learn more about the thing that was you know i was waiting to have is kind of a textual information to learn more about the shape so instead of going to wikipedia for example and read more about it i just can see it and read about it here in the app itself um, this app also tackles some uh, uh, issues that uh, people might have where manipulating 3D shapes and sometimes 3D shapes it's not comfortable to manipulate them even though uh, if you have a standard mobile app and you want to manipulate an, a virtual object in the 3D space you can do it with just uh, swiping to different directions but for some people it's not convenient this way it's very convenient it's just rotating around very comfortably and very naturally and you can observe the shapes from different directions so this is one of the main advantage uh, of this app in my opinion Now, as you can see, the UI itself is very simplistic, very nice, very clean. So it's very easy to understand what to do. No other, uh, some UI elements that just distract you from the main thing. Uh, and even the, the standard 3D presentation looks really nice and clean.
you know, one thing that I really want to see, one app uh, does it, uh, is the ability to just uh, uh, cloak the cube itself. So the part that you actually is not used by the app can be kind of uh, invisible. And this is by, you know, uh, learning the background, uh, keeping uh, information about the background, probably on a kind of a 3D sphere or something uh, and uh, as a texture, and then being able to just uh, fill over uh, the area uh, where the cube is actually located and when there is no, there are no, um, there's no virtual content on it. So this is it. This is my quick look at uh, Shapes 3D for the Merge Cube. Uh, you can download it for uh, for iOS. Um, it's an educational app, um, and it's available in uh, many different languages. According to its developer, um, it's best for seven and eight grades, um, just so you know. And there's a website uh, where you can actually uh, learn more about this app. And there's also a web version, uh, apparently. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed my little first impression of this app. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. i see you soon with more cool videos. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye-bye.